Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial to opening your NAT. Um, the items you will need for this tutorial are first off a computer or a laptop doesn't matter, a Linksys router, and a Xbox 360. This is the overview of what I'm going to be doing. Please feel free to, uh, to stop the video at any time because I'm going to be moving pretty fast. So, for step number one, accessing the website that will let us uh, change the settings for the router. To access the website, you must open your internet browser and in the URL type 192.168.1.1. And I have it at the bottom just in case you did not hear me correctly. So then the site will ask you for your username and password. Just type in admin as a password in lowercase. And then this is what the website should look like in the top half. Now I want you to go to administration. And now we're about to head off into step number two, which is enabling the UPnP imports. So for this, all you have to do is basically there should be a column where you're able to enable the UPnP. Then I want you to copy down what this picture has exactly from this picture. And uh, copy all of this down. And we're going to move into step number three which is finding your IP address. So to find your IP address, there's a couple of different ways. The first one for Mac is to uh, go to the left and click on about this Mac. So once you have done that, um, it should open up into a different screen and you should click more info. And then after more info, you should scroll down. There should be a thing called network and under that network column or whatever, there should be IP address. For Windows XP and Vista, it's pretty much the same, but it looks different. So what you do is press the start and go to control panel. Then you end up in your control panel and you want to click network and internet connections. And in between that, there should be some type of uh, little thing that lets you click details. And this will pop up and you can get your IP address. For Windows Vista, it is basically the same thing, but you have a different picture. So after you have actually gotten your IP address, use the last few digits to type in in that last uh, column that I didn't take a picture of. So type that in there and uh, after that enable all of them. So go down and uh, just click enable. And then turn your Xbox 360 on and it's time for testing to see if you actually did everything correct. So you turn it on and if you see that then you didn't do correct which means that you messed up so go back and look